Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for the Pisces Collective. Now if you haven't seen this morning's reading I would go check that out first because this one will make a lot more sense because you'll have the full picture. Okay, post twice a day, 9.45 a.m., 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the morning is like a general emotions, what's going on, what you're feeling. Ooh, the star's coming out here. I love that, okay? So remember, this is all to get you in alignment, Pisces, okay? I'm going to leave this card just on the out because I'm not really I'm not really talking about this right away, but I'm going to put it more as an oracle for you in here. I want you to remember that this is part of your life. Underneath right now, they're showing me also the the Wheel of Fortune, which is cycles. Okay, we're all going through all of these cycles in our lives right now. Um, I, they want to reiterate and remind you that all the bad stuff that you feel sometimes, it has to do with the stuff that you're dealing with in life. Okay? Everything that happens to you is happening for you as well. It's bringing you hope peace and renewal. Remember, um, the broken pieces about you. It brings hope and and in your broken pieces spring up hope and renewal, okay? It, it keeps coming back in here, okay? They want you to remember. And there's also this, you know, balanced out thing. The balance steam keeps coming in. The dark and the light, they balance things out. They make you realize things. So remember that, okay? Make it part of your being. Make it part of your every day. When you get through for a loop, take a moment, figure out what's trying to be said, what's trying to be heard, what's trying to be seen, and then move forward. Keep going on your way, okay? Right, in the darkness is the light. I love this. Look at this darkness card. It's explaining so much with the moon of the oracle here. Ah, number 40. Number four, balance. Okay, imagine a table. They're showing me a table. Four legs. If one is out, it's out of balance. So everything in life is about a balance, about balancing both. It is so... It's so meaningful, okay? They really want you to see this in a different perspective. Honestly, that's all I get from this reading today is that everything is about perspective in life. What do you make of what's going on? What are you seeing here, okay? I'm going to put these somewhere so I can... Okay, so I'm going to put the darkness card here, but it's gorgeous. Look at that. What is this, an eclipse? No, long night moon. Long night moon. So beautiful. I'm actually going to take from the book and see. I don't think I've ever seen this card. I don't think we've ever had it. Uh, well, I've had this deck, so that that's clearly an indication that I need to go look at what this means. Um, so you have, you are entering a time of introversion. A leaner time or a time to turn inward to plan and strategize. That's all I've been talking about since this morning. This is so synchronous with everything. This card just kind of puts it all together. Okay, it's time to do the shadow work, which will bring big dividends later on. Release what no longer works for you. Let's just, let's just, the darkness needs to be there as much as does the light. I can't make this, it's actually written here, Pisces. The darkness needs to be there as much as does the light. I've been saying that all morning. I love it when they do that. They're going, yep. That's exactly what we're saying. Here we go. Okay. Believe that things are in perfect balance for you. Even if it feels like a big pile of doo-doo sometimes, things are what they're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to continue with this one. This is a dark dance around. What is it called? the box there somewhere. What do they call? This is a new one for me. The Dancing in the Dark Tarot. I felt like I'm looking for darker themed tarot cards for, for uh, uh, sewing that's coming in. So, Sewing. 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 Does it matter? Tomato. Tomato. Potato. Potato. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so I love the fact that this Two of Cups came 
the other way. This is what I'm telling you. It's about harmony, disharmony. Harmony, disharmony. It's the same card. It's what puts us in balance. Puts us in balance towards what? Our blessings and our wishes coming through. Everything that you learn now will serve you later. That's what this card is saying. That's exactly what these cards are saying. Okay? So, the disharmony you may feel, or the lack of it, or the delay of it. This, uh, where was it? I saw the Two of Swords. This delay. Okay? This delay of it. This morning. This other two. This delay. It's to bring it in. Okay? It's two sides of the same coin. And it's so that it can bring it in. Alright, so let's see what it is clarifying. The Fool, the New, and the Seven of Cups. So, everything is about giving you personal power. Okay? It's to trust and keep an open mind. And to assess what's going on. So that you can realize that this disharmony or harmony both work to your bigger advantage. Always, always. Okay? I love the kids in this card, by the way. Look at the kids in this card. They're so, they're so cute. Okay? They're so cute. I love them. Okay. Okay. So between the seven of pentacles, I do believe it's the seven of pentacles, is it? No, nope, it's the Seven of Cups, your choices, decisions, indecisions, delusions, too many choices. And the King of Swords, asking you for insight. Asking you to separate yourself from the negative emotions that are bringing in. The personal attack that you may have felt, right? I was about to say that. And another seven. Another seven, okay? So you had, where was the other seven? Okay, the seven was here. The resistance this Seven of Cups, and now you have the Seven, but this one is, okay, it's work away from that resistance, that defense mode that you went in, okay, that defending yourself, going, you know, you're not going to do this to me. Take it from defense to boundary to then knowledge and power. These are very important, okay. You go from defensive to boundary to a calm boundary. Okay, to knowledge and then power. Right there. That beautiful seven. Okay, it can work for you. These sevens, they're working for you. This is you working. This is you going, let me think about this. Okay, put on your best Sherlock Holmes hat and, you know, and say, say with me, the, the games are afoot. I never understood what that meant. I never knew that games were afoot unless they're, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, so you have the 12, which is the Knight of Pentacles, lovely, okay? This is a long game. This is, uh, it's going to take a while, okay? The King of Swords and the Chariot, you moving into the knowledge format, okay? This is something that's going to take you a bit. This is um, a long game, is what they call it. Whatever. There's something else to the way they say it. It's you're in it for the long haul, but that's not what I meant. It's like it's a it's it's not a short game. It's not crazy eights. It's uh, it's Dungeons and Dragons. You're gonna be there for for weeks. Okay. <laughs> the thing is, is that you are working at this to progress. You're not working at this to win a hollow win, a hollow victory. This is something that you're working on so that's going to bring in dividends that serve you forever. Okay? And they're saying even in the next life. Okay? These are lessons that you're learning that are going to fill up your your uh, knowledge, your wisdom, stuff that you need to know and rely on. Okay? That knowledge, and you're going to ask me, Jane, how do you know if you forget your lifetime from one to the next? Well, even when you came in this life, there's certain things that came to you really easy. I think it's just like kind of like an energetically genetic uh, part of your mold. Okay, so let's call it that. I hope that answers that because I'm thinking that some of you are going like, what are you talking about? So it's kind of like it's part of you already. You don't know how you got the knowledge. You just somehow know it. 
Okay, I have I have a lot of that. There's certain things that I thought, why did these people don't know that? I already knew that. But then I go, how did I know that? I don't know. Just kind of always known that. That's that stuff. Okay. All right. So you have the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups. Use your intuition, your higher power, to move past this. That was the big. That was the big thing this morning. Move past all of that crap. Uh, don't let it poison you. Oh, so many people poison themselves, okay, for too long. It's so good. It's no good, right? Okay, so the six of uh, swords upside down is still me transitioning. It just meant this energy that I felt all this month is that it took you a little while, okay, to get to this point. It took you a little while to, it gave you a, it gave you a run for your money, okay? Made you feel bad and let you stay there for a while. Made you, some of you, hide away, but now it's time, okay? It's time to flip this around and take it and go, okay? Take it and go and move forward here, okay? I'm going to leave it here. This is resistance. This is all resistance. You see these cards that are coming in upside down, especially this two came in upside down? Okay. This is all resistance. They're all the same cards. It just means you're resistant. Okay, Reverse means resistant. I saw that. Somebody say that in a, you know. Uh, a reverse tarot card means resistance. And there's that card. It says resistance. No coincidences. You know, people speak in, in front of me and then it, it's like, ah, yes, I need this now. Okay, so this is it. Two of Swords, Eight of Hazards, remembering two, 8 plus 2 is, a, is 10. Okay, It's a culmination of things. It's a completion. So work on, working hard to get rid of these blocks, okay? But between the Eight of Cups, between moving on, is working hard to remove the blocks. <laughs> right, okay. So the Five. Right, right now, what you're doing is, the, as soon as this card turned around, the Five of Cups is you're, you've concentrated on what was fallen, you're concentrating on what's left, but what you need to do is to concentrate on the balance between the two. Okay? So, you don't need to be, I love this card because it's actually showing what it's supposed to be doing. What is he looking at? He's not looking at the cups. Where's his eyes at? Right here. It almost, I, I could be wrong, but I feel he's looking at the flow of the water. So, why is he looking at the flow of the water? It's a, it's a five, too. Five and sevens, remember? They're coming in today. Hard work, difficulties, oh, this stuff's not easy, okay? Why is he looking at the flow? Because he's seeing that it's more than just these cups, okay? There's more than these cups. There's the flow of the river. It's flowing gracefully, easily. Even in this time where the cups fell over, it's still flowing easily. Why? Because there's a balance. You're flowing. You're going with the flow. You're going with what you're supposed to be looking at and what you're supposed to be learning. This isn't, uh, this isn't the brick, this isn't the stop that you thought it was. Stops have purposes. Okay? So in essence, you're still moving with the flow of things because you're moving into the situation you were supposed to. Okay, hope that makes sense to you. I hope that makes. I hope that clarifies things. I'm so sad to be coming to the end of using this deck. I find that it's been very, very insightful today. It's just, it's just been hitting all those beautiful little marks and stuff. Um, with the star card, I love the star card. Again, balance. As above, so below. The light, the darkness. Remember, gratitude for the journey that you're on. Okay? The Ace of Cups was underneath the deck. Study why you have all these feelings. Where are they coming from? Are they coming from really being wrong? Are they coming from within you? Are they coming from outside of you? Are you picking up empathic feelings? Is just being out there really? Yeah, right. I love it. Okay. So I was supposed to pick the bottom of the deck, but I did not. So yeah, 
But it's okay, the bottom of the deck is good too. The hangman upside down. Time for you to move forward. Okay? It's not this way. It's this way. So, don't resist the new perspective that's being offered to you today in this reading. The other card is also the balancing act of this. Okay? Look at you, adapting. Look at you, juggling this. Okay? You have to look at things in different ways. You really have to be juggling. But it's an introspection, not hermit, non-hermit. It's an introspection with the intent of action because you're resisting it. It's time to move forward. You've been stuck in that energy too long in October. Okay? So, what moon again in Aries? Okay, so we have Aries. Aries is fire, okay? The fire energy of the full moon is asking you to move forward. It's asking you to, you know, put your foot on the gas pedal and get it going. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to put these. I don't know where to put I'm running out of room. Mr. Pumpkin, could you move, please? Mr. Pumpkin. Thank you. Thank you. I'll turn you a little bit. You can kiss Mrs. Pumpkin. So cute. My husband brought me these. These are real pumpkin and I painted faces on them. Aren't they the cutest things? I love pumpkins. All right, Pisces. So what else can I do for you right now? Ooh, I just saw the next text in version tarot for, um, for tomorrow's reading. It's on the black and white. These are going to be the, the cards that I use for clarifying. See? So nice. Okay. Do I pick another? I'll pick out of this one here. I'm intent on uh, going through this entire deck. <laughs> the go with the flow is flowing off the table. Just to let you know, okay? A reminder. Go with the flow. Don't look at the good. Don't look at the bad. Look at it in general. Together. Complete. If you had an argument with somebody, don't look at their point of view and how they hurt you. Look at how, what they said, how you reacted, the whole environment and situation surrounding it, and what it means to you, okay? What's in there? What do you need to look at? Okay? Love it. I love it. You know, I love the morning readings, but I do love the evening readings. I feel like they come in like and really just put a whole new light on everything. They make it they make it feel don't you feel better after the second reading? I know I feel better after the second reading. The law of attraction is my life's basis. Since the law of attraction is the basis of your experience and the understanding of it is essential to living life on purpose, in fact an understanding of the law of attraction is essential to living the life of joy that you came forth to live. Alright. So, attract. Always work on attracting the solutions and the forward momentum that you want in your life. Okay? You attract everything. I've realized that certain situations that I always considered bad, I would... I would just, I'd harp on it, okay? A couple of weeks ago before I did the live stream, I had the worst three or four days of pain, uh, of feeling unwell, and that's just a thing, okay? It's no need to concern, just, it happens. My body does these things, and uh, I used to worry about it. I used to get it checked and worry about it constantly. And now when it happens, I kind of try to be kind to myself, try to understand and try to heal my body as much as I can. And instead of being sad that my entire weekend was just ruined with my family and we had plans and things to do, I appreciated that the guys in my life cared enough to come and spend some time with me off and on to see if I needed anything when I laid down to give me the time I needed to recuperate. 
My husband and I did a lot of, of just catching up on interesting movies. We watched A Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, we did all kinds of different things. And that's what I choose to remember of that week in the awesome live stream, my first live stream with you guys, and how wonderful that felt and how that uplifted me. Um, I could have just washed out the weekend and said, what a waste of time. What a, what a, you know, why did everything get ruined? Instead, I chose to focus on what I could, uh, what was good about it, and then through the perspective on this, I had time to reconnect and slow down, not just pass each other in hallways. You know, they could sit at the edge of my bed and have, you know, uh, a meaningful conversation for five or ten minutes. And we did. I felt like I was getting visits, you know, and at the same time, I felt cared for and loved because they were checking in on me, checking up on me, okay? So... There was a lot of that. I realized that they really do care about me. I'm not just somebody who's in their lives. And it's nice to be reminded of that. And it's nice to then tell them that you realize that as well, of them. That you realize how much they do love you. That makes you love them more. You see the openness of this? If I had not been ill, I may not have had this chance. That would have been kind of missed in the flurry of... of of family events and things that we needed to get done. And so I'm grateful for the pause that even though it wasn't perfect body-wise for me, it gave me opportunities to do certain things. So this is what it's asking you. Look at things and wonder why did this happen, okay? Sometimes it will show a hole or something that needs to be paid attention to. It's not all, you know, butterflies and rainbows. Sometimes it's like there's there's something that your attention needs at this moment, okay? When it doesn't turn out so great. But it's time to take pay attention to it and it's time to work that out and then move forward as well, okay? I hope that this has helped you, Pisces. I'm going to leave you with this now. Uh, energies are really, really strong, so I'm going to send those energies out with you. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to send those energies out with you so that you can get the proper like resonance and healing that you need right now to move forward with that. Okay, So I'm sending you empowering energy for you to let this sit and sink in and really um, help you move forward. Okay, I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Take care of yourself, Pisces, and I will see you tomorrow as I always do. Take care.